Greetings, incredible LTDE 5319 students. Welcome to module week seven of Technology Tools for Learning. This week, we will be focusing upon building a quality online course based upon principles of effective instructional design. Let's begin by looking at the module week seven learning resources. As you can see from the introduction, in this module, you will utilize the constructive feedback provided by classmates to enhance your created online course components, which will reflect a culmination of your new insights acquired throughout the course. You will add these components to a Blackboard course shell following the outlines created for learning resources, assessment pieces, and engagement opportunities. As you can see, the websites this week, as well as the video, focus upon principles of backward design and exemplary course design within an LMS. Let's now look at the module week seven assignments. This week, you will have the opportunity to engage in a discussion board forum in which you will reflect upon the process of designing a fully online course from start to finish. Please specifically address the following questions for reflection within your initial thread. First, what aspects of this process have you found to be most rewarding? Secondly, what aspects of this process have you found to be most challenging? And finally, what top three insights have you gleaned from this process that you will utilize in your future professional endeavors? Please review and provide feedback to two of your colleagues' initial posts. Please remember to reply with substantial feedback, including references to the reading and video assignments this week. In your replies, you will want to utilize the three CQ model, including a compliment, a comment, a point of connection, and a question. This week, you will also design a show and tell portfolio screencast. You are familiar with this assignment from previous courses within the MS LTD program. This time, though, you will actually upload this assignment to Chalk and Wire. You will also complete a final online course construction this week. You will actually want to create your final online course construction before completing your show and tell portfolio screencast. That's because your final online course construction will be included within your show and tell portfolio screencast. You will want to utilize your Weebly website to construct this course. You'll want to ensure that you are also incorporating the constructive feedback that colleagues have provided over the past weeks. This final online course construction represents a culmination of the diligent efforts you have put forth to design a quality online course over the past weeks. As you continue to apply what you have learned about instructional design to create an online course that you will place within your Weebly portfolio website this week, you will undertake a process similar to that which our subject matter experts and instructional designers follow as they are developing new online courses at HBU. The great news is that you have already designed student-centered course outcomes and a topical outline. You have curated a collection of reading and study resources and audio and visual content. You have also created authentic assessment experiences, peer engagement endeavors, and collaborative learning opportunities to address your chosen student learning outcomes. This week, all of the components you have designed over the past eight weeks will be placed together to represent one seamless online course. Please remember that your proposed audience for this course and the course subject matter should directly apply to your current or intended professional setting. The components you create should represent a course you can utilize in future instructional design endeavors. 
Your Weebly portfolio website must include all course outcomes, module titles, and module descriptions, reading and study resources, audio and visual resources, authentic assessment pieces and corresponding rubrics, and discussion board forms and corresponding rubrics. Each of the items above must be placed within the appropriate places on your Weebly portfolio website. As you add these elements to your Weebly portfolio, you'll want to create a new page within Weebly that contains all of these elements listed in logical order. For example, you'll want to begin, of course, with course outcomes, and then you'll want to include a module title and description for each module. You'll also want to place the reading and study resources in the appropriate modules, as well as the audio and visual resources. They too should be placed within the appropriate modules. Authentic assessment pieces should be placed within the module in which you have decided they best fit as you are designing your authentic assessment template. The same goes for the discussion board forms and corresponding rubrics. Please be sure that you are including rubrics for authentic assessment pieces and discussion board forms in the correct places. Although your Weebly portfolio will look a bit different than an LMS such as Blackboard, which we are using for this course, you have freedom to decide how you will design this course within Weebly in a way that is logical and would provide for a meaningful learning experience for students. Please don't hesitate to reach out to your instructor with questions or concerns about this important assignment. It is an absolute joy and a true blessing to learn alongside you, and I'll look forward to seeing you online over the coming week. 